this is the female genitalia of the cow let's start with the ovary ovary has two borders this is the free border this is the attached border it has two ends this is the posterior end and this is the anterior end posterior end is pointed and anterior end is oval this is the uterine end and this is the tuber end from there tubal end or anteriorly the fellow oviduct is passing on to the uterus basically uh, oviduct is divided into the two parts this half part this half is the uh, uterine part which is the isthmus this is the isthmus part and this is the ampulla part uh, the ampulla dilated in, dilated to form the infundibulum this is the infundibulum ovarian this ovary is attached to the ovarian by the meso ovarian this is the broad ligament meso ovarian so oviduct it leads to the uterus first is the uterus has been three parts uterine horns the body of the uterus and the neck of the uterus these are the uterine horns this these are the caruncles button like structures which will attach to the cotyledon of the placenta so it will lead to the body of the uterus this is the neck of the uterus it is the hardest part neck of the uterus is also known as the cervix this this is the external os opening to the cervix from there vagina will start and from vulva will be start the external os opening in the case of the cow it is the spirally arranged and the space between this vaginal wall and the external os is known as the fornix vaginae this is basically the urinary bladder basically it is present as like this this is the pelvic part this is the pelvic part this is the female genitalia of the mare this is the dorsal side this is the ventral side how will we define the ventral side and dorsal side by the location of the urinary bladder urinary bladder will be present on the ventral side tip okay. okay then we will see the it is the ventral side this is the anal opening anal opening will be always present on the dorsal side so we can determine the which is the dorsal side which is the ventral side uh, this is the basically female genitalia of the mare this is the ovary ovary of the female genitalia in the case of mare it is the bean shaped the characteristic feature is the ovulation fossa this is the ovulation fossa in the case of mare and the oviduct is somewhat sh short this this ov this is somewhat short oviduct is somewhat short and the uterine horns is they are flexes in nature these are flexes in nature the rest the things are the same this is urinary bladder this is the vulva this is the vulva these two are the vulvar lips this is the superior and this is the inferior and uh, survey inferior inferior mr ne clitoris Clitor clitoris will be present to the inferior side of the vulva it has there are the three pouches let's start with the pouches okay. this is the rectum this is the genitalia so the space between the rectum and the genitalia is the recto genital pouch second is the genital and this is the urinary bladder the vesico vesico terms used for the urinary bladder so the space between the genitalia and the urinary bladder is vesico genital pouch this is the vesico genital pouch there the pubic region urinary bladder so the space between these two are the pubico vesicular pouch there is this here you will found the para rectal fossa you will found the para rectal fossa this is what is gone this is the gross specimen of the female genitalia of the bitch the characteristic of this is the y shaped or the v shaped genitalia okay. which the characteristic feature is the y shaped or the v shaped genitalia this is the ovary of the female genitalia in the case of bitch this is the female genitalia of the cow 